Hello and welcome to this week's Spotlights. My name is Derek and today we are checking out the Raven R29X. So, Raven, uh, they're the ones who sort of pioneered the smaller, lighter, faster crossbow. And uh, this one is definitely one to look at. It's their, it's one of their shortest bows that they make. The shortest is the R26, this is the R29. Soon the R18 will be their shortest bow on the market, but we'll get to that on a separate video. The key figures for this R29X are 29 inches long, it weighs six and three quarter pounds, has a 12 and a half inch power stroke. At the widest, when it's uncocked, like right now, it's 10 and a half inches wide. When cocked, it is six inches wide. So it's pretty small, pretty light, but this little powerhouse is capable of 450 feet per second. Now that may fluctuate a tiny bit, depending on what sort of tip you put on the arrow, but that is still very fast. And that speed's gonna benefit you in a couple ways. Uh, first, pretty obvious, the faster it is, the flatter it will shoot, which does help for accuracy. Secondarily is the power of you know, something moving at the, uh, something that's the same mass, moving faster is gonna generate more kinetic energy. Now one of our guys was able to take down a 200 pound whitetail with one of these, and from 40 yards, the arrow completely penetrated both shoulder blades. So, definitely has the power. Third is one that I think all bow hunters can relate to, um, jumping the string. That's when the deer that you're shooting at hears the release of the arrow, and before the arrow has time to actually impact, it tries to take off and flee. When it does that, it, it drops down a little bit to load up its legs ready to take off. And when that happens, your arrow could miss entirely or it could hit higher than what you'd really like to. If you're a hunter, Unfortunately, you've probably seen a deer walking around with an arrow sticking out of its back. So, having a faster arrow does leave them less time to react to it, which definitely helps. This leads us to the third advantage of a fast bow like this, uh, range. Now, while it's true that this bow and all these ravens are capable of doing three inch groups at 100 yards, that's a bit far for most people when it comes to bow hunting, even with something like this. So when we work in the jumping the string phenomenon that's out there, the most ethical distance that you'd probably want to stick to is around 50 to 60 yards. And that's to make sure that you can guarantee a, a hit right where you need it to. It is going to come down to your situation and, and what you have going on, but that is a decision that you need to make. Anyway, back to the bow. So. It does have beneath it a little Picatinny rail section here for if you do want to mount a, uh, a hand stop or a bipod or we shot it off a tripod while uh, testing it, which was very nice. Also has this main grip right here, has a nice sort of soft texture to it and lends itself very well for your form. Also has these little wings right here and purpose of these is to keep your fingers under them to keep them out of the way of this string because a bow this powerful, don't want to get caught by that. It also has the silent cocking system. So should you choose to load and cock the bow when you get to your hunting spot, you really don't run the risk of spooking any game nearby. And when I say silent cocking system, I mean silent. It's not quiet, it's silent. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna try and do this for you real time. It is a bit awkward on the table, so I'll do this as best I can. I need to drop my mic down a little bit here. Let's see if I can capture this. I think we will agree that is impressively silent. And there is something that I've noticed about this bow is that um, it is extremely easy to use. Uh, cocking it was uh, very smooth, very easy, and as you saw, very silent. And uh, one other thing that I do like about this bow that uh, a lot of people can appreciate is that when it is cocked, an arrow will be completely enclosed within the bow itself. The R26, the shortest one that they do, right now anyway, it does stick out a little bit like that. And with a sharp broadhead, that can be a little bit of a hazard. So it's nice that this one fully encloses it. Another nice feature that I like about it is that it cannot be dry fired 
and as soon as you cock it or as soon as it shoots the arrow, it automatically puts itself on safe. Moving up, we have a Picatinny rail here and this particular R29X does come with this scope and mount which attaches to it. The scope itself is a one to eight with a pretty simple dot crosshair reticle and it does have red and green lighting on that reticle. As far as drop compensation, I'm gonna flip this around real quick. It is done via this little knob right here. So you can lock it in its current setting with this little dial here. You can unlock it to click like that, or you can make this so that this movement is totally silent. And all you gotta do with this is just uh, move this so that the range that you're shooting at matches the number on it. And as you move it, you can actually see it move the scope up and down to account for that drop. The trigger on it does break real nice. Uh, they say it's a about a four pound trigger. I uh, have seen some other testing that would indicate it's a little bit below that in some cases, but the break is very, very nice. And that's coming from someone with a lot of rifle background. Of course, couldn't pass up the opportunity to do a little bit of a, an atypical and probably irrelevant test with Justin. To demonstrate the accuracy in a more entertaining manner. Justin is now downrange setting up a target. As you can see, it is our dummy Bruce from the Bullet Safe video. Here again to put himself on the firing line for the sake of testing and entertainment. Now since this is not so much a testing of my abilities with a crossbow, I have attached it to the Vortex Radian tripod. Now uh, speaking of, I've shot off this tripod a good number of times and it is Fantastic. Justin! Is that an apple or a cherry, dude? That's an apple. You sure? Because it's the smallest apple I've ever seen. The time's by a pound. Not my ass. Justin, what's the range? Uh, 50 yards. 50 yards, good. So we just turn this dial right here to 50 yards. Okay. Ready for a shot? Yep. All right. Can you double check the range? 60 yards. 60? Yeah. You lazed it from up there, didn't you? first time. Yeah, I was up there when I did it. <sighs> Damn it. All right. 60 yards. 60 yards. 60 yards. There we go. Fruit salads for everyone. So overall, the Raven R29X is an incredibly impressive piece of engineering. So is everything from Raven, but I like this one a whole lot. Um, so much that uh, I'm not even a bow hunter and I still want one just to have. Um, to that point, it is safe to say that I am not a bow hunter, like I said. If you would like some more input as far as how best to utilize this during a bow hunt, we have some other guys on my staff that would be really good to talk to about that. Um, in no particular order, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Josh, Kyle, Sam, and Fletch. Those guys have been bow hunting for a pretty long time and are very good to talk to. My forte is more firearms and optics and that sort of thing. So it was really neat to get to learn this bow and see how impressive it really is. So that wraps up the Raven R29X. We're gonna put a link in the, the description so you can follow it right to our site. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you next time. You can tell it's a pretty serious bow because it comes with an awful lot of warning stickers. On this one in particular, I count five. And if we treat these stickers like stickers on a car, as of course we all know, more stickers, more horsepower, this one breaks down to 90 feet per second per sticker.